Hi, I'm John McLaren. In mobile systems, low power is a critical feature of a device. Today we're going to talk about one of those, uh, one aspect of that, which is the LPI or low power interface. So for memory, some low power aspects of memory are fairly common, commonly known, such as um, power down and self refresh. So these are features of a DRAM that save power in the DRAM. But there's also power that's consumed in other parts of the memory subsystem, in particular in the PHY. So while the PHY is an important part of the memory subsystem, it doesn't really have information about how to save power. If we think about how the memory subsystem looks, we've got a basically a memory controller, and we've got a PHY. And then we've got the DRAM. So <clears throat> the PHY is essentially the physical interface between the, system, the subsystem or the memory controller and the DRAM. So while it pays, plays an important part in the subsystem, it doesn't have information about what is the, the state of the uh, memory at any given time or what is happening back in the system. That information is known by the memory controller. So the LPI. That's where the LPI comes in. The LPI is actually part of the interface between the memory controller and the PHY. There's a, we have a standard interface. It's called DFI. And one of the interfaces that's part of the DFI bus is called the LPI. So what the LPI is used for is it's a way for the memory controller to communicate to the PHY things like what is the low power state of memory and what is the required wake-up time uh, of the PHY? Um, so, for example, if the DRAM was put into a power-down state, which is one of the lower, uh, lesser power-saving modes, we may be in a state where we want to be able to wake the memory back up very quickly when new transactions show up. So in that case, we want to save power in the PHY, but we don't want to power down parts of it that are going to take a long time to wake back up. So we call this a light sleep. Um, on the other hand, if we put the DRAM into a self-refresh state and we're in a situation where we're expecting to be asleep for a long period of time, we want to take advantage of that in the PHY and power down the, more, the other parts of it that use more power, such as the DLLs. So the DLLs use a lot of power, but they also take a long time to wake up. So this information is sent across the interface on the LPI and communicated to the PHY so it can take advantage of that. So that's what the LPI is used for, and the LPI is just one of the important features that we have in our memory subsystem to save power. So I'm John McLaren, this is Whiteboard Wednesday.